Isaiah chapter 34, Nahum, 34th book of the Bible. Come near, ye nations. So this is not written to the Jew. This is written to nations. To hear. All right, come, listen, and hearken, ye people. Let the earth hear. This is addressed to all people. And all that is therein, the world, and all things that come forth of it. For God so loved the world. This is everybody. What we're going to read now is when you find Zephaniah 3 8. For the indignation of the Lord is upon all nations. Well, United Nations, I guess. And his fury upon all their armies. I think the United Nations has an army. He has utterly destroyed them. Look at that. He has delivered them to slaughter. Revelation 19. Jeremiah 17, 15. Zechariah 12, 1 through 6. Then, I mean, their slain also shall be cast out, and their stink shall come up out of their carcasses, and the, and the mountain shall be melted with the blood. Well, there goes the high places. Revelation 16, 20, 2 Seth Rowling 1, 6, and 7. Let's talk about a future event when God is going to get his overall and overall above all the nations. Imagine building nations against God the Creator. And all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved. And the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll. And all their hosts shall fall down as the leaf falleth off from the vine and as a falling fig from the fig tree. Everything's going to be gone one day. Peter speaks of it. It's going to be a fervent heat. The element shall melt. What you see today will be gone tomorrow. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Indomenia, and that's the land of Edom, upon the people of my curse to judgment. Edom has been against Israel all from the beginning, ever since Jacob supposedly stole the blessing from Jacob. It was sold to Jacob for a bunch of beans. The sword of the Lord is filled with blood. That's, in, that's just before the Lord Jesus Christ comes. Armageddon. It is made fat with fatness. And with the blood of lambs and goats. And sacrifices and offerings. With the fat of kidneys of rams. For the Lord has a sacrifice in Basra. That's north in Edom. And a great slaughter in the land of Indomenia. Again. Eat them. And the unicorn. What's a unicorn? I don't know. But there's some crazy things out there that people believe that you expect, that they expect you to believe. Maybe unicorns are a futuristic animal. Maybe they're an animal that got eaten on, were eaten on the yard. I don't know. But it says unicorn. Shall come down with them. Come down from heaven. Come down from the land. And the bullocks with their bulls. And their land shall be soaked with blood. And their dust may fat with fatness. That's Revelation 14, 20. And maybe unicorns are going to be something in the future. Maybe they're hiding from man. I'm still waiting to find a reindeer that has a red nose that you guys believe. You can believe in a reindeer that has a red nose. Why can't I believe in a unicorn? For it is the day of the Lord's vengeance, second advent, and the year of recompenses. For the controversy of Zion, Jerusalem, and the streets, the streams, that's in Edom. 
thereof shall be turned into pitch. <clears throat> and the dust thereof into brimstone. And the land thereof shall become burning pitch. Now we keep talking about this, this period of time in the tribulation. After the tribulation in the millennium. Here is this land in, in the Dead Sea region <clears throat> is the lake of fire on this earth. Where in the millennium where Jesus Christ tells you to go jump in the lake, this is the place where you're going to be. It's hell that's opened up. It shall not be quenched night or day. The smoke thereof shall go up forever. From generation to generation it shall lie waste. None shall pass through it forever and ever. It's a complete barren area of fire. But the comrade, the bird, and the bittern, a bird, shall possess it. The owl also and the raven shall dwell in it, unclean animals, birds, and it shall stretch out upon it the line of confusion and the stones of ep emptiness. What is that? I have no idea. They shall call the nobles thereof to the kingdom, but none shall be there, and all her princes shall be nothing. So here's, a, here's a royal place, gone. No one's going to be there. The thorns shall come up in her palaces, the royal cities. Nettles and brambles in the fortresses thereof, places where the armies are. And it shall be an habitation of dragons. Some kind of reptile. And, it, and a court, and that's an open area that you would find in the palaces and the fortresses for owls. Unclean. Birds. The wild beasts of the desert shall also meet with the wild beasts of the island. And the satyr, half man, half goat, shall cry to his fellow. You, see, well, you really believe in that? What the Bible says, I believe it. Well, man today is messing with genes and chromosomes and DNA and I don't know. The screech owl also shall rest there and find for herself a place of rest. Listen, you know, the, the, some people believe if you you could drop a house on a on a woman, she'd be dead. You know, with power to fight over shoes and that all the kind of junk. They believe in all kinds of things. There are stores in Florida where you can get ready for zombies. You can believe that junk. I can believe the Bible. The problem is the Bible will be true and the other is, is junk. There shall be the great owl make her nest. If you want to study about the thing, study owls. There's a lot of owls here. And lay and hatch and gather under her shadow. There shall the vultures also be gathered, every one with her mate. What about it? I don't know. But Jesus said in a parable, he said, the birds came down and ate the seed. And then when he told you what he told the disciples, they said, well, what is this, this parable? He says, the devil or devil. When I started reading this stuff, well, I used to have parakeets and I got rid of them. Because the Bible says the bird of the air will tell the king the matter. There's something about birds. They carry diseases. The only bird I like is chicken. And he's a fowl. He can't fly. Something about birds in the Bible. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord. I got it. And read. I do that. No one of these shall fail. You mean there's going to be a unicorn in Satar? No one of these shall fail. You ever seen a unicorn? I haven't seen God. I will one day. Do you believe in these Satars? 
I have not seen the the cherubim. I will one day. I can't say much because I don't know what they are. None shall want her mate. Who? Seek ye out the book of the Lord and read, No one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. And we just read about the vultures having their mate. This whole thing's written about a vulture that he can have his husband and wife vulture. It's going to happen one day. Isn't that a weird prophecy? Imagine we went to a place, there was a tarot card reader there. He said, Your future is there's going to be a bunch of birds in this burning place down in the intermediate, and they're going to have mates. Huh? How's, that for, how's that for a prophecy? You know, 48 prophecies of the Lord Jesus Christ in the first advent, they all came to pass 100%. So this prophecy that we're reading in chapter 34 about birds in a place that's going to be pitch and burning and smoke forever, an open place on this earth, and the Lord Jesus Christ reigning a thousand years, that A child is going to play with a lion and a lamb, and they're not going to eat each other. Meanwhile, while he's while he's while he's walking down the street with his with his lion and his and his, and his lamb, he's going to be holding a leash of a unicorn. You believe that? You better believe I believe that. That's what the Bible says. I laugh. It wasn't even anything near what we think what a unicorn looks like. But I'll tell you one thing: the unicorns today, well, you know, the pictures and all that, they are they are a reference to magic and new age. That's not the Bible unicorn. Bible said it. For my mouth, God's mouth, it has command. It has commanded. God commanded it. So guess what? And his spirit, the Holy Spirit, it has gathered them. Who? The birds. Isn't this like really psychedelic? You don't need drugs to read the Bible. You don't need drugs in your life. Just, here it is. Here's something about birds. And just like really, if you were to sit down and just ponder this chapter, it's all about birds in a place of burning. Some people spend a lot of money to, 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 to get something in their body to make them go crazy and to trip out of what we just read. Isn't that what the story of the phoenix is? Is it this bird that burns up but comes back to life? But this is a detail of God that is going to happen. And guess what? Being a born-again Christian, as of right now, I do the work of the Lord, and I suffer for the Lord. Now, I'm not bragging. But the Bible says, if I shall suffer with him, I shall reign with him. If I'm going to reign on this earth, if I get the opportunity to reign even at half of a city, even a, a, a one billion of a city and I'm on this planet earth when the Lord Jesus Christ is in Jerusalem you know what's going to happen I'm going to see chapter 34 I'm going to walk up to this area as far as I can get close to this area and eat them I'm going to walk up see this brim so I'm going to look in there I'm going to see all these birds I'm going to see this, this thing called a, a, a tar. I'm going to see a unicorn I'm going to say yep the Bible says seek you out the book of the Lord and read none no one of these shall fail. I'm going to say, yep, God's right, 100%. It's in there. And how many born-again Christians know what Isaiah 34 says? And they're going to think about it in the millennium when, when they're here with Jesus Christ. What if, what if Jesus Christ took, you know, how a teacher takes the class to, a, you know, on a field trip? Imagine Jesus Christ taking his bride 
over to this area and eat them. This place is burning up. Take your and points is right. Hey, look at all the look at all the birds in that place. What do you think about that? Ooh. Ah. One person will say, Hey, isn't that in Isaiah? Correct. And he, God, has cast a lot for them. The birds. You know, the birds. One who flew over the cuckoo's nest. A cuckoo clock. Bird brain. You know? In America, for a while, in England, you would use a feather to write. Um, Coyote would chase a bird. Tweety was a bird. What's that about birds? His hand, God, has divided it onto them by line. So when you go down the street, where do you see birds perched? They're perched on a line, a wire. And a bird of the air will go tell the man. You would just imagine what you say over the phone go through the feet of those birds and make those birds go tell somebody. You won't be fall fetch. You going to get weird. Now, I have bird trees outside my window, and they're entertaining to watch. They shall, I mean, I, I'm really spooking you out, am I? You're, you're ready to call the guys with the, with the, you know, the, the love me jacket. But that's what the Bible says. Where do you see birds hanging out? On a line. What's the Bible say? They will go tell the king in his bedchamber. What did they do? They gather up the gospel tracts that you pass out to people. And some of you don't even have the foggiest idea what I'm even saying. Never mind, open up to it in the Bible what I am saying. You know, Noah let out a black bird that never came back, let out a dove. The Holy Spirit is likened to a dove as he descends. Not a dove, but as somehow the dove comes down. For they shall possess it forever. You know, the forever is until the heavens are just going away, verse 4. Forever for the earth is when the earth is gone. True love forever. Yeah, until the earth is totally gone. Not eternity. From generation to generation. So the millennium is a thousand years. Generation to generation unto generation. Shall they dwell therein? Where? In this pitchy burning thing. Of who? Birds. What more? I, I can't say any more about this. It, it's a weird chapter. And it's going to be interesting to see it come true. When it comes true. That's what the Bible says.